Jane, thanks for coming out to the clinic. Enjoyed working with you. We're going to start with your underwater video here. And uh, first thing I want to point out is when your arms are going in the water, you're pushing down sort of your shoulders, elbow, and arm. Everything's kind of pushing down together. See right there and there. So when your hand enters the water, you don't want the hand to go in and go immediately down. You want the hand to enter the water and extend the hand forward from the shoulder. So your hand goes in and then you push the hand forward from the shoulder. So instead of putting the hand in and dropping the shoulder and arm down as you're doing, you want to put the hand in the water and extend forward. So you want to extend out in front. See the, the left arm there when the arm goes in? See, see how the angle of the hand is right there? You want a straight line from your fingertip down to your hip right, right there and you're not in that position. So that's the main thing you want to work on. You can, you can do this with the one arm freestyle and putting one arm out in front, lock it nice and straight, straight out from the shoulder and, and pull with the other arm and try to stretch forward with that arm. It's a great way to learn to, to extend. Now look when you put the hand in the water here, see where the hand, the track of the hand's going? It goes in and it's pushing straight down. So you're pushing water to the bottom, to there. And right there you finally get the hand turned and to pull back. Remember, you want to pull the your hand arm back all the way from the front of the pole and instead of pushing it down to the bottom. You're going to have to work on getting your catch. It would be easier if you have shoulders that aren't, that aren't rolled down, as we talked about, dropping the shoulder. You want to keep the shoulder up. That way you can bring your fingertips down and push the elbow over the hand or roll the hand. Imagine you're rolling your hand over a barrel so the fingertips are going down and the elbow is coming over top of them before you start your pull. Real important to do that. Uh, and then you'll be able to get a, a wider pull and get those arms bent. See how you're pulling straight arm through underneath? You want to get the elbows outside your shoulders when you're pulling and the hands in just slightly. And you're, you're locked, your elbows are underneath your shoulders. So you want to work on your catch and your extension. On the above water here, I look for head position, uh, high elbows and hand entry and just a general comfort in the water and you have nice high elbows there and your hand entries are good the left the left arm is going out in front of your face a little bit so you want to make sure that the hands are entering straight out from your shoulders you see the right arm is good left arm sort of sweeping around right in front of you right there real important to keep that straight out in front uh, also on the recovery you're doing a good job getting your elbows up just lead the recovery from the elbow. Let the hand sort of follow and then extend it out front and then drive it in a little bit. Drive that hand in and forward with each pull. Best of luck to you.